When you're ready to share your website with the world, RapidWeaver can publish it to your website hosting provider's server. We're going to look at how to do that in this video. The first thing we should do is check our general settings. So let's go over here to the sidebar and click General, and make sure that you have the web address completed. It's very important that your website is secured using HTTPS, so make sure and include that in the URL. This does require an SSL certificate to be installed on your hosting server. If you're unsure about that, please check with your hosting provider as they should provide that for you. Next, let's go to the publishing settings. And it's going to immediately pop up with a box that asks for some information. Your hosting provider should have provided you with this. If you're unsure of the details, contact them or go into your account where they should be provided as well. First of all, I'm going to type in the host name then the username, and then the password. I'll simply click Next. RapidWeaver is going to check these credentials, and as soon as it's verified them, it's going to load a view where it lets you see the directories of folders on your server. Now the look of your directory structure will be different depending on the host that you are using, but it's typical that you will find a folder called public HTML or www. It is possible that you will have a different directory that you need to publish into, so please check with your hosting provider if you are unsure. But once you have selected the appropriate directory, then you will simply click on Choose, and then that is going to load this into the publishing view. You will now notice that under the Publish button here at the top right corner, you will find the name of the a destination that you have created. If you'd like to change that, you can do so by clicking Edit here and then giving it a new name. So for example, if I called it Live Hosting Server, that would indicate to me just at a glance that this is going to publish to the location on my server that is for the world to see. I might do this if I choose to add another destination for testing purposes. I can do that by clicking Add New Destination then I'd go back to the same process again, but choose a subdirectory that is specific for testing the website. Once that's created, I would then go about giving that the name testing server, for example, and then I could toggle between those options here, uh, depending on which one I wanted to publish to. In any case, you can have as many publishing destinations as you would like here inside of the project. If for some reason you want to manually manage or edit certain parts of the server setup, you can click the Manage Manually button, and that will open up all of the details and reveal them to you so that you can add or change things here. So for example, if your password changed in the future, you could simply change that right here in this place. You can also change your website address if you want it to be different in this section. And then there's also another important setting called Backup Frequency. This is actually going to take your RapidWeaver project file and upload it along with your website to your server. So it's simply another method of ensuring that you have a backup that is reliable. In the future, you can go and download the backup from your server by the, clicking the button here once it's activated. Your options for backup frequency are once a day, once a week, or every time I publish. Or if you're going to take care of backups on your own, you don't want this to be utilized, simply click on the Never option. If you need to be able to edit certain parts of the HT Access file, instead of going through FTP, you can do that manually right here in RapidWeaver by clicking on Edit HT Access File. That is going to pull that up from your server. You can make changes to it and then save and upload those changes. Finally, a couple of more things to note, dependent on your hosting setup and their requirements. There are options to publish via FTPS or SFTP, and you can also choose a lightning fast speed of six files at a time, or what's called a compatibility mode, which is one at a time, or anywhere in between. So if you're finding issues with the lightning fast connection option, then you can lower that number until you get a good experience with the publishing. And then finally, we have a couple of different modes to choose from. Extended passive is the default. There's also passive and active. In most cases, you can leave all of these as they are, and you should have good success with publishing. But you can make changes to those settings if necessary. 
If you do choose to make any changes to these settings, simply click the test button after you're done to let RapidWeaver take a look and make sure that everything is working just fine before you go about publishing your website. Once you've done that, you can go back to any page, click on publish, and that is simply going to upload everything that RapidWeaver has marked as changed since your last publish. Of course, if it's the first time you're publishing, it's going to upload everything for you. In the future, it's going to take a look at what needs to be published based on the changes you've made and only make those changes. At any time, you can force a complete republish by going up to the file menu and choosing republish all files. So that is a look at publishing with RapidWeaver. Thank you for watching.